we learned something about dogs. Now dogs, as you know, come in different sizes. Here's a Great Dane and here's a little Chihuahua here. And it turns out that small dogs live a lot longer than large dogs. So large dogs, like a Great Dane, live only five to seven years. Whereas these little small guys can live up to 20 years. So it's very different. And what was shown very recently was that the reason that these small dogs are small is because they have um, a mutation in the gene that encodes IGF-1, which is the hormone that we've been talking about. So that makes them small, and as I say, small dogs are long-lived, so it makes them long-lived as well. So this is really interesting for lots of reasons. First of all, these small dogs they're real animals. I mean, the mutants are real animals, but they're laboratory animals. But these small dogs are fully functional, happy little, intelligent little creatures. So that's one thing. You can have this low level of IGF-1, and they have much lower levels of the IGF-1 hormone, and be very healthy. But it also raises a question. The question is, would they have to be small to be long-lived? So in other words, the IGF-1 gene is promoting two things growth, to be a big dog, number one, and number two, long life. So can they be separated for, from one another? Or would you have to be small to be long-lived if you're a dog? Well, there's, I think the answer is you would not have to be small. And I'll tell you why I think that. First of all, if you go back to this chart, the worms that we study are not small. The fruit flies, if you make mutations in this gene here in their insulin IGF-1 receptor, the flies are small and long-lived, but if you just perturb the pathway slightly, just a little bit, not too much, then you get flies that are still long-lived, but they're not small. They're big and long-lived. Same with these, uh, these mice. These mice here are not small. They don't get fat, but they're not particularly small. And these mice here, the IGF-1 receptor mice, the heterozygous mice, are almost completely the normal size. They're just a tiny bit smaller, almost completely normal. And um, yet the mice live long. Okay, so in all these animals, it's possible to uncouple the two of them.